In this video, you're gonna learn exactly what outbound sales is, how it works, and how you can use it to generate more meetings and sales for your business. And before we go ahead and get started, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and let's go ahead and dive in. Now, outbound sales is essentially when a seller initiates a conversation with a potential customer, right? And that seller could be a company, the founder of the company, or a freelancer, or it could even be a sales or business development person working at a company, and they're trying to reach out to another person to see if they're interested in purchasing their products and services. And the reason for why outbound sales is so important is because you might have an amazing product and service that might change the world, but if nobody knows who you are, why they should buy, or actually even taking a step back, if they don't even know that you exist, how can they actually buy from you, right? And that's why a sales and business development person has to actually reach out to another person and say, hey, are you interested in buying our products and services, right? Now, this is very different from inbound sales, where inbound means, let's say, a company created like a YouTube video or a blog and someone reads it and they say, oh, that's pretty interesting. Let me talk to your sales team to see if I wanna buy. Inbound is when you generate content or something like that and people come to you. Outbound is when people don't even know who you are and maybe you don't even have a brand yet and you're reaching out to another person cold, they don't know who you are, it's not a warm introduction, and you're basically just saying like, hey look, you know, I think I can help you solve these kind of problems, do you wanna have a meeting? And then if they agree to that meeting, then you can actually start selling. So the first step is for a seller to initiate a conversation with a potential buyer. And outbound sales can take many different forms, right? Because reaching out to somebody, there are many different channels. It could be cold emailing, uh, adding them on LinkedIn and sending them a message, or it could even be cold calling, right? So right now, those are gonna be the big three that many people are using to generate outbound leads. And of course, like I said before, you're doing this cold, meaning they don't know who you are, they don't expect your call, they don't expect your message. But even if it's cold, if you write the right message or you do the cold call in the proper way, people are willing to have a conversation if you can solve their problem. Now to do outbound sales, the next step is to figure out your ideal customer profile, meaning who is your ideal customer that should actually purchase your product and service, right? Where most people get it wrong is they don't have an idea of who they're selling to, they're trying to sell everybody, and in the end they don't sell to anybody because they're not being specific enough. And when it comes to your ideal customer profile, sometimes you may have many different profiles in many different industries, depending on how mature the company you're at is working at, so I'll go ahead and give you an example. So let's go ahead and dive into an example, right? Let's say you are a sales or business development person and you're working at this company called Notion, okay? Now Notion is actually a note-taking tool that I actually use uh, personally almost every single day when I write my YouTube videos, get some ideas, and write down my scripts, right? But there are many different use cases to Notion. So if you kind of go on their website, you know, they have uh, people that are already customers like Wall Street Journal, Pixar, IBM, Verizon, Nike, McDonald's, very big companies, right? The use cases of Notion is very broad. It can kind of be for everybody. And so that's why, you know, for if I was working at Notion, uh, and by the way, this is not a sponsored video or anything, but if I was working for them, I would think about, okay, what are the different industries or different departments that use our product? And let's create an ideal customer profile for each and every one. And this is pretty much what they did, right? So uh, some people, uh, use Notion to do roadmaps of creating a new product. Some people do it to uh, organize their engineering code. Some people use it for recruiting, HR. Some people use it as a sales CRM, design, marketing, right? So many different types of use cases, okay? Now, if you go on the Notion website and you see some of their case studies, uh, I found one right here. So Blinkist is, um, is basically like an app where they summarize uh, books for you. So instead of reading the whole book, you can uh, just read a summary of it, right? And you basically pay a subscription for that. So for, for this company Blinkist, they're using Notion, right? Which is like a note-taking tool for their hiring process, right? So as they go and recruit people and they do referrals and things like that, they're using Notion to organize everything. Now Notion itself can be very broad. It can be for everybody doing many different things. But as you can see on Notion's website, what they've done is they created different ideal customer profiles for different type of people so that they can go after these different segments. So if let's say Blinkist is, you know, they're an app, they're quite a modern type of company with well-funded startup and they're using Notion for recruiting, okay? And you kind of scroll around 
uh, customized template for each row. So a lot of different use cases for recruiting, scheduling, and things like that. So what Notion could do if they had an outbound sales team, again, someone reaching out to other people, they will say, okay, so why is Blinkist using our app? It's because they're using it as a recruiting tool, right? So they might think, okay, well, these modern startups that are well-funded, they're choosing to use Notion for a recruiting tool versus any other software that exists. So how about we make a list of all the other modern apps in the app store that, ha that are also well-funded like Blinkist and send them a cold email to see, hey, you know, we're working with Blinkist to help them with the recruiting using Notion. Just curious to know, you know, how you're doing your recruiting and to see if you're interested in learning how you might be able to streamline some of your HR processes with Notion, right? So you make that list of all these different apps that are kind of fit the same profile as Blinkist and you basically reach out to every single one to see if they want to take a meeting with you, right? And that's how you define an ideal customer profile and niche down a little bit more and go after a specific industry with a specific use case. Now, when you're crafting your ideal customer profile, it's really important to understand this one thing, and that is you gotta understand what pain your ideal customer is probably experiencing. You don't know for sure, but you can take an educated guess based on your research online. What pain do they probably have and how do you solve that pain, right? And basically, whether you're doing a cold email, uh, cold call, whatever it is, you have to basically address those pains, right? Do they actually have that problem and can you actually solve it and communicate that you can do all these things? And once you're able to do that, then people start taking meetings with you. If there's no pain, there's no reason for why someone would want to take a meeting no matter how many emails you send. So now the next step of outbound sales is how do you actually do outbound sales, right? What is the process? Well, essentially, like I kind of mentioned earlier, you wanna make a list of the people you wanna reach out to, then you wanna make a deeper list of all the decision makers that you personally want to reach out to, and then you find an outreach method that works in your industry, right? For some people, it may be cold calling, and that might work really well. Other people might be cold emails, other people might be LinkedIn, right? So you gotta understand in your industry, what are people already doing, and that's the one that you should probably start with because it does kind of work right uh, you want to you basically just mimic other people's success and not have to reinvent the wheel now on top of that once you find a channel that does work you can actually sprinkle in different touch points to increase those touch points and increase the odds somebody will actually communicate with you right and start that conversation for example a campaign might look like this so day number one you might add them on LinkedIn day number two you might send them a LinkedIn message uh, to learn to see what their challenges are. If they don't respond, maybe day number five, send them a cold email. If no response, day number eight, give them a cold call. Don't respond, okay, day number 12, send them a LinkedIn message. And then day number 17, send them a cold email, right? So there's different ways to do it and depending on what you're doing and how far you wanna spread out each touch point by how many days. Usually I recommend uh, a minimum three to four days at every touch point. You don't wanna be calling someone every day because that's quite annoying. And then from there, um, basically you just keep doing it until they actually respond. And there's gonna be a point where you might feel like, okay, I reached out to this person so many times, they're not responding and you just gotta let them go, right? Uh, or you can put them in your CRM and say, okay, they're not responding now. Let's go ahead and reach out to them three months from now or six months from now, and then we try the process again. Now, depending on your strategy, if you are, let's say, going high velocity, you would just go fast and try to get as many meetings as you can to see if your product or service has product market fit, see if people are buying, and you wanna move fast, right? But if you're working at a large company like an Oracle or Salesforce or Microsoft, and you're doing enterprise, uh, they might give you a list of, let's say, 50, 100 companies or maybe 500 companies, whatever it is, right? And they say, okay, you can only sell to these companies, so basically just keep pounding the phones, keep sending the emails until they book a meeting with you. In those instances, you gotta have a lot of touch points because you're trying to break into specific key accounts that you wanna work to. But if you're selling something that you know you can sell to like hundreds of thousands of people, then I would recommend Velocity. If you're going for these accounts, like specific accounts, I would recommend you know a combination of all these methods uh, spread out over a longer period of time so you don't act annoying because you don't want to burn any bridges. And once you actually do get that meeting and you book that meeting, basically you're going to talk to hopefully a director or above level over the phone and you're trying to just understand what their problems are and then you're eventually trying to sell them, right? So for outbound sales, is something very important you have to understand is that they don't really know who you are or what you do. So on the first phone call, you're kind of educating them a little bit about what you do, what value you bring, what problems you solve, and why you're different from your competitors. And then from there, you're gonna ask them a lot of questions to see if they actually have any real pain that you can solve. Because if there's no pain, there's not gonna be 
any sale, right? Like for the Notion example, for the note taking app, if they're reaching out to someone and they're trying to sell into their HR department, well, they have to understand, well, is the HR department experiencing any pain? Do they have any problem with their previous software? Are they doing it manually and everything's not centralized, right? What is the pain someone has and how do you solve it? Only then will people actually buy your product and service. And they will do this, they will buy if you can find the pain, identify it, show them that they have it, make it hurt, and then remedy that pain and solve it with your solution, and then that's how you close the deal. And so with that said, that is essentially outbound sales. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And if you want to learn how to sell anything to anyone, I actually got a free training. Link is in the description. Make sure to check it out. So with that said, my name is Patrick Dang, and I'm gonna see you in the next one.